All right, tonight we're going to be talking about Unit 4, Lesson 3 on page 113. Um, there's a lot of information on this page I need you to really pay attention to. And you may have to go back and re-watch some of this part. Because we're going to be talking about polygons, which we've already mentioned before. And we're also going to talk about a new couple of new words, concave and convex. Um, and we'll come into those in a few minutes. But let's first of all think of a polygon. Poly means many, as we talked about in class, and gone means angles. So really what this all means is many angles. And also a polygon is a flat, closed figure made up of line segments that, do ne that never cross. They do not cross. So if we look at these first three, and one, two, and three, and we can look at these. And our question is, first of all, is it a line segment? Um, and the answer would be yes, because they are closed. There's no way to get out of this shape in any which way. So it is a polygon. So this is the yes. This one on over here, remember what I said, they do not cross. Well, it already violated the rule. It crosses right there. So that is not a polygon. And lastly, the one we're going to talk about, and you're going to do the rest in your book, same thing, even though it has the, goes inside here, if a person's inside here, can he get out? There's no way to get out. There's nothing crossing each other. So that is a yes, that is a polygon. So if we can remember, poly means many angles, and they ha cannot cross. A polygon is flat and closed. So flat closed and does not cross. So those are some of the important key things you have to remember when you're thinking of a polygon. Flat closed and does not cross. And also poly means many and gone means angles. So many angles. Now, I want you to finish four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I will tell you only a couple more of those are going to be polygons. It's your job to figure out which ones they are and turn that in for homework. Now on the bottom there, it's talking about from 9 to 12, a concave versus a convex shape. And let me read it to you. First of all, a figure can be concave or convex. In concave polygons, there exists a line segment with endpoints inside the polygon and a point on the line segment that is outside the polygon. A convex figure has no such line segments. Let's figure all that out when it means in English. That's all math terms. And we're going to look at those two little examples they have on the side. And we have a Kind of like that. Oops. That's all right. And then we also have the Washington Monument shape. For anyone that's been to Washington, D.C., that's kind of what it sort of looks like. And with the concave, says again, is, is a polygon, there exists a line segment with endpoints inside the polygon, and a point of line segment that is outside the polygon. So can we connect from here to here and go outside? We can. So can we connect here to here and be on the outside? The line segment is on the outside. Things can go in. That is what they call concave. Convex means it's a figure that has no such line segment. Nothing's on the outside. Everything's been pushed out. So everything's out here. You can't put a line through here and make it into the shape twice. I mean, you could put one here, but it's not through the shape twice, like this one is. So this is called convex. So those are two differences, and this does not exist, so we better get rid of that. We don't want to confuse us. Because you can't put a line segment on the outside, and it goes in the inside. Number nine, which is a shape that we've seen several times, and we're going to draw them on this side, because that is a rhombus. 
And rhombus, we want to know, is that concave or convex? Well, we can't, we don't have any open area at all in the shape. It's all kind of enclosed in, kind of like our monument ones. So that's going to be convex. And then we'll do one of the concave shapes just so we kind of can see. And I'm going to do like the sideways triangle here. Now I'm going to draw on the other one. And again, we can do an endpoint here to here. Oops, oops. Here to here. And I didn't draw it really that good. But you kind of can see, let me redraw it. Then. We can get the here to here. We can draw an endpoint. And see, it's on the outside of the shape, it's also on the inside of the shapes. So there's the two endpoints. So that's how it makes it a concave shape. So if you ever see kind of an open, like an arrow, or a, um, it's an odd shape, that's what they call concave. Now I want you to do 10 and 12 on your own. One's going to be convex, and one's going to be unconcave. You have to figure out, does it have an open area, or is it all enclosed? Look at those two different shapes, and you'll be able to figure it out. And come to class with a lot of questions on concave and convex. Also, let's talk more about polygons and how they look. So that way we kind of get a better idea. And now you've been flipped again.